Welcome back to Stogie Geeks. Got an interesting segment for you. This is episode 273, volume 2. I'm here. I'm Joe Zempa. Thank you for listening. If you're just tuning in, we had an awesome interview with Louis Falto, and um, he released a new cigar called the ALJF. Um, one of the things I find interesting about Louis Falto in his business methodology is the fact that he makes one cigar per blend per size. And if you're looking for a truly unique cigar smoking experience, and we always mention here on the show classic facings, boutique face, Falto, in my humble opinion, is as ultra boutique as it gets and so one of the things i wanted to do um i uh went to a conference this week and uh had the opportunity to um you know you go to the conference you pack a backpack you kind of live out of your backpack for a couple days you do some traveling and uh it kind of got me thinking you know um i went on a wine excursion uh a couple months ago where we were kind of touring the trail and hit a couple of vineyards, right? So I decided for this segment, what do you bring when you go on a wine excursion? So if you're going to travel to a, a different um, place and go to a couple of vineyards, say two or three or four or five, which is an aggressive schedule during the, the day, and you want to sample some wine tastings and, you know, this is a great travel tip for you. But what I did do is for this segment is I am pairing the uh, Falto LJF with a awesome, it's the Crusher and it's a Petit Syrah blend. The vintage year is 2015. So basically you're going to get a little bit of pomegranate, a little bit of ripe plum, and I decided to take this super awesome blend of uh, 85% Petit Syrah, 6% Merlot, 4% Zinfandel, and a couple other red blends that they made here. The brand name is Crusher, and I decided to pair it with the rest of my Falto cigar. And that being said, I must say, it's an awesome blend. Uh, full body on the blend. Uh, it's a little bit heavy because it is a Petit Syrah, so it'll, it'll linger on your palate. And with the first box press smoke done by Luis Falto, this will allow you, um, you have tons of smoke, and it can match very well. Highly recommended for sure. But let's get to the point of this Stogie Geek segment here. If you're traveling and you go to a bunch of different wine wineries, you got to figure out well, if you've never had a chance. And by the way, this applies to some of the breweries as well. Uh, I'm a fair, uh, a very a big fan of craft beer. Um, so what do you bring, right? I recommend you get yourself a little bit of a uh, 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 small backpack. And what do you put inside this backpack? Pretty simple. If you go, do a little bit of research online, if you go into an outside vineyard, that will allow you to have a cigar. Bonus, right? So you want to bring some clothing in there. Make sure you dress in layers, right? Because, you know, especially if you go to different uh, climates or if you're ever doing an ex excursion, if you're doing some traveling outside of the country, you know that you always, ultimately, whenever you're doing any craft beer or wine, you want to be comfortable, right? So bring layers, you know, sweatshirt, maybe a little bit of underama. There you go. Uh, lay is a key for sure. Uh, also, you you got to bring if you if you ever have the opportunity to go to a vineyard that allows you to actually walk in the fields. Uh, some of them have a little bit of a uh, learning presentation where you can go actually uh, on the farm or plantation and see and see the vines, get a little bit of a tour there. You need some versatile fo footwear. So if you're traveling with significant other. Make sure that they don't have heels on. Make sure they're comfortable. Versatile footwear is key, right? Uh, also, 
you want to make sure that, um, you know, you, you want to, if you're going to try to understand what their methodology is in regards to crafting their wines, or if you're lucky enough to get what the tastings and available tastings would be, make sure that you keep some notes for yourself. Keep all your notes digital, right? So, you know, you can put them on your phone, use Google Keep or something like that uh, there. Highly recommended. Don't forget a water bottle with water. Um, you want to have that in between the, the wines. And if you're going from vineyard to vineyard, you want to have that uh, available so you can cleanse your palate, right? For sure. You don't want to go to uh, a vineyard that, you know, say you have five, six samples of red. And then you jump in the car or a tour bus if you're doing a tour bus or anything like that. And then from there, you have some water in between. Keep your palate fresh. You won't be disappointed. Very important when keeping the notes that, that you want to take. There's an app for that. Of course there is, right? It wouldn't be uh, Story Geeks without at least some sort of computer talk for sure. Um, Vivino is a fascinating app. You... Uh, you, you download the app, you can sign in, uh, create a username and password. It's like a social networking there. You can friend, you can compare notes, etc. But more importantly, you can take a picture of the bottle and you can put it into a list and it'll keep it for you. So again, you can keep all your notes digital. The name of that app is Vivino. And if you bring in your cell phone, sometimes when you go into the uh, wine cellar, uh, storage facility, uh, some places, that's actually where you have the opportunity to sip the wine. So you're really in the middle of this cellar downstairs, cement, right? And there are barrels and barrels, hopefully as far as the eye can see, of all the different blends that they have going on. And from there, if you're in a basement, your cell phone's going to, could be mock roaming, right? So what are you going to do? Grab yourself a portable charger. Keep that cell phone charged, especially if you're out all day and from there. Because if your phone's on roaming, what's going to happen? It's going to drain your battery because it's searching for a signal. Now, what do you do from the social aspect of things, right? Now, when you go to a vineyard, some vineyards, um, what I've noticed uh, pretty popular is they have food trucks there. So you have access to food because... Let's face it, if you're going to go on a tour and you're going to try to squeeze in four or five places, you're probably going to start drinking wine about 10.30 in the morning. Don't pay attention to your watch. Just enjoy the experience. There's no judgment. It's tasting, right? And then from there, um, you know, you, you, you want to, if, if uh, other vineyards just have the vineyards and you don't have access to, like, handy snacks. Now, I'm not talking about breaking open a big bag of chips and doing that. You know, have something... Uh, a snack that you would normally use you, you, with a little bit of preparation. You, you can package it there. So something that would clear out the palate. Uh, nuts or uh, cheese, crackers, something of that nature. Pack a little bit there because I'll tell you that if you're doing, if you go to stop three and you've had four or five pairings or samples and then you decide, okay, I want this one, you know, or two or whatever you want to have from there uh after stop two if if you're if you're my size you might get hungry right so if you got a little bit of uh peanuts or uh crackers uh cheese you know keep them all in storage containers there put them in your backpack uh guaranteed you're gonna have a, a good time for sure right and then you know wh what you got to do in regards to shipping is let's say you're really on travel, right? And you want to buy an exclusive bottle, right? Here's my tip for you. Beach towels. Works like a charm, right? You take, you take the bottle of wine, you wrap a beach towel around it, you stick it in your bag, and then you can take another one. So if you're going to think you're going to buy, buy four bottles or something like that, or a bottle from each place or whichever, stick the little individual towels there. It'll be cushioned. And at the end of the day, what did you do? You had a chance to sample some good wines. 
you had a chance to, if it was an outside vineyard, you had a chance to uh, hopefully pair it with a good cigar, right? That's always good. Um, you had a chance to uh, make sure you have something in, in your stomach so you can enjoy the experience, okay? And you got comfortable footwear. And from there, you're not going to be too hot, too cold. And if you're sitting in the basement, what's going to happen? You are going to be sipping some wine and seeing barrels and having great conversation with a significant other or something of that nature. You'll be sipping some wine and going out among barrels as far as the eye can see. I'll tell you, there's only a few things in life that are better than that. But uh, going on a wine trip is, is really interesting. Um, it's, it's just like a cigar journey when you go to an event and you have a chance to meet the owner or meet the roller or hear, hear a little bit of history. And there you go. It's a win-win. So what did we learn today? Falto, new cigar, box press, the LJF. Pairs very well with rum, according to Luis Falto. By the way, if you missed the interview, you can jump in uh, and jump on. It'll be available on stogiegeeks.com. But you can also pair it with a really good petite Syrah, red wine. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to enjoy the cigar, and I'm going to embrace the weekend that is coming up. If you have any questions or comments, or if you've been on a wine excursion, I'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is go to joeh at stogiegeeks.com, and we'll see you next week.